Greetings Mechaneers. Today I am making chicken fried steak and for all you Brits watching there is no chicken in this dish. back to Mech Mansion, chicken fried steak today. Lots of people recommended I try chicken fried steak or country fried steak as a classic American dish. It has the gravy as part of it. And for those of you who have watched my biscuits and gravy video, you will know how much I loved the gravy. So I have high hopes for this one. I did think it was chicken when I heard chicken fried steak. I know obviously steak generally means beef, but you see steak, or I do, at least in the UK, I see steak used for all sorts of different things now. You know, I've seen like cauliflower steak, which means just a big wedge cut out the middle of a cauliflower and fried and stuff happens to it. Halloumi steak, this steak, that steak. So I did think, okay, this is, this is the, a wodge of chicken, which they are just calling a steak, like a big slabby patty bit of chicken that we're doing something exciting too. So that's why I, I thought maybe it was chicken when I first heard about it, but then realized, oh, no, it's beef, but it is fried in the way that you would make fried chicken. Hence the name chicken fried, the action, steak, the thing, perfect. So that out the way, let's get on to what I have found out about chicken fried steak in Mech's research. Chicken fried steak and country fried steak are not exactly the same thing, although the terms are often used interchangeably. Chicken fried steak tends to be deep fried and served with a light cream gravy. Country fried steak tends to be pan fried and served with a darker brown gravy. Either one, I'm sure, will be delicious. To make the dish, you take what Americans call cubed steak meaning a steak that has been tenderized, bashed to within an inch of its life by a tenderizing hammer. Once the steak is nice and thin and therefore will cook quickly, you cover it in flour and egg, salt, pepper, and then lightly fry it to give it a crispy golden coating. Serve your steak with gravy, not UK gravy, American gravy, and enjoy that yummy taste. Chicken fried steak, a classic. I can't wait, can you? It's time to go into the kitchen, get my tenderizing hammer out and get bashing. Got chicken fried steak. I made it for myself. Fluff. There you go. That was fascinating making that. It was really strange. Doing the doing the dredging with the flour and stuff, but with steak rather than chicken felt really weird. Cooking that was fine, but then making the gravy is is you know, I've done it once before for the um, biscuits and gravy video. And with that, it's the sausage meat and stuff. So this was really this was very different. And then I was kind of making it and stuff, and I was tasting it going. 
I didn't taste of it, like literally anything. So you saw that I pulled some of the fat off from the steak, but I did leave some in there to, to start making the sauce. But then once I was sort of checking my recipe, I added a lot of salt, a lot of pepper, um, and added a little bit of color to that gravy. So it does, it does now have quite a nice flavor. Not really strong, but I guess that's not the point, right? So what I'm gonna do is chop this up so then I can eat it one-handed while I talk to you. But there it is, I, wow, this is so cool. Chicken fried steak is, you know, as good as I can make it. Right, then I'm gonna chop it up. Okay, so I've got a few little bits now and I'm gonna give it a go. This is exciting, this is weird to me. This, this is a strange combination of stuff, I must admit. But that's why I'm so excited about it. Okay, chicken fried steak covered with gravy. Let's give it a go. Wow. That's really good. So, so different from really anything I've had before. Oh, that is great. It tastes like a classic. It's got it doesn't have strong flavours, right? It's got, it's got no herbs, it's got no garlic, it's got no strong stuff in there to punch you in the face like buffalo chicken wings. So it's not like, a, it's not like I'm being knocked out with flavour, but the flavours there are subtle and they go together. So you've got the, the steak, you've got the fried um, uh, batter, you've got that lovely creamy gravy and it all works beautifully, like a little harmonious orchestra. Not a showing off orchestra though. Not one with a mad trombone player who's trying to do all the notes and overtake everything else. They're all working beautifully to make nice harmonious music in the classic American style. I don't know what nonsense I'm talking about now. Um, again, I, I bet I could, I sh I'm sure I could have got a better steak. The steak that I used guys, is what in the UK we would call minute steak. It's, it looks like minute, there's a whole gag about it. You see it on a menu, it's like, why do I want a minute steak? Minute steak, um, because it cooks in a minute or two, because it's very, very thin. Generally, not a great cut of beef, but I appreciate that's the whole point of this, right? Generally, it wasn't great cuts of beef and you pound it and you tenderize it and you make it really soft and nice. Um, but then I've seen you know other recipes saying, well, you know, if you want to, if you can afford it, use a fantastic bit of steak and do the same thing to it. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and give a mouthful to Mrs. Mech. And I've got two mini mechs in the house, not three at the moment, just to see what they think. I'm going to come back and let you know. I'll be back in just a sec. I'm back. I said, Mrs. Mech, do you want to try it? She's like, yeah, I'm starving. So I gave her a mouthful. She's like, yeah, really nice. So she was happy. And then Mini make number two went, can I try some? I went, sure. I got the thing, I went like this, and he went, no thanks. I was like, what? You were, you were gonna have it? No, I don't want it now. It was there. The other one, mini make number three, didn't even look. She was like on a device. Mini make number three, do you want, no. Well impressed with chicken fried steak. For those of you saying, you should have you know, loads more gravy, you should have mashed potato and beans. I know, oh, yeah, I know. Can't be doing it today, I haven't got time. I haven't got time to make an entire meal. But yes, I can see the whole meal all together, a proper evening meal with all of that on your plate would be amazing. It'd be interesting to make the country fried steak version with the, with the much darker, richer gravy. A bit more flavor there. I'm sure that's fantastic. It'd be nice to try it with a different type of steak. One that's a little bit less tough than this one, but what a winner. That is amazing. Also, I love it so much now. It's so good. Imagine how much I would love it if I was in America, in a little diner, a little place that did really fantastic chicken fried steak with the potatoes, with the beans, with a little dinner roll, with whatever on the side. I mean, ah, oh, that would be incredible. This is just my little version here. And I love my little version. So imagine the proper thing. Last mouthful. Sorry, guys. You just have to wait for me. I'm sorry. Okay. Scoring the chicken fried steak. Okay. Let's go through the categories. 
appeal. Not bad. I think to Americans who know what it is, bang up there with appeal. I think if you showed it to Brits, they'd be a little bit more like, mm, I can see, I can see some fried meat under there, which looks, because it's got like chicken batter. Oh, but it's steak. Okay. Then with the gravy on top, I mean, I think it looks great. I think, I think a lot of Brits would misunderstand it and go, well, what is that? So from that point of view, I'm going to go middling for appeal. Although I, I think it looks really good, but you know, I'll take into account all of Great Britain as well. Middling to appeal to ease of making, not that easy. Not that hard, not that easy, somewhere in the middle. Taste, fantastic. Not because it's packed full of flavour. The flavours that are there were lovely and subtle and worked beautifully together, but it is not a dish, you know, drenched in garlic and oregano and or, or cayenne pepper or whatever. I'm sure you can use all those things. Um, so, but the taste was, was beautiful because it worked really, really well. <laughs> now I do think, oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I can't quite remember now, buffalo chicken wings and biscuits and gravy, they're both in the 90s. Uh, where would I place these guys? Is it better than biscuits and gravy? No, it's not for me. It's so close, but it's not for me. I prefer biscuits and gravy. So let's give it then. Do you know what I'm going to do? Whatever biscuits and gravy is sitting at, and I will find out when I, before I edit this video, so I'll know. Whatever it's sitting at, biscuits and gravy, I'm going to knock half a point off. Chicken fried steak is going in on the scoreboard half a point under biscuits and gravy. Straight into the scoreboard, no hanging about. Now, we can see the chicken fried steak has gone in at number three, under biscuits and gravy, by half a point. Buffalo chicken wings still reigns supreme. Now, for the eagle-eyed amongst you, you will notice that I have dropped the score of buffalo chicken wings. Controversial, I know. Buffalo chicken wings were sitting at 95. Now, although I'm happy, happy for them to be at first place, and they were excellent, they were too far away from biscuits and gravy in terms of scoring for me. So I've knocked a couple of points off to bring first, second, and third very much in line. Sue me, guys. It's my scoreboard. I'm going to do what I want. So you can see I've put a star next to chicken fried steak because I will be making it again. Mrs. Mech really liked it. The Mini Mech refused to try it. So I've got to win them over. It will be a regular family meal once I've had my way. <laughs> Another week done. Thank you for spending the time with me today. Next week, there will be no video. I am away for a week, having some lovely family time. So no video next week, but I will be back the week after that. A good friend of mine is busily working on emojis and loyalty badges for my little subscription that I will be launching in the next few weeks. So that is exciting. Lovely as always to have you visit Mech Mansion. Now it's time for you to leave because that's the end of the video. Like, subscribe, all the stuff. Love you guys. Captain Mech, out. Thank you.